Meanwhile, the Steelers have promoted Omar Khan to the position of general manager. He replaces Kevin Colbert, who's had the job for 22 years. He didn't really have the title until 2010, but it was the same job. Khan has been there since 2001. He was most recently VP of Football and Business Administration. I mean, he has been an integral part of that team, and he was one of the names that would come up and this just gives you an idea of what Bill Cower thinks of him. Yeah. Whenever Cower was starting to get the band back together again and thinking about getting into coaching, Omar Khan was one of the first names that right. always came up. Right. That he would try to take Omar Khan with him wherever he went. He was going to be the coach of the Jets at one point, but Woody Johnson didn't want to fire Mike Tannenbaum. Cower wanted to bring in his own guy, and the guy he would have brought in was Omar Khan. So Khan waits patiently, waits for a very long time behind Kevin Colbert. And he gets the job. And Chris, we said this yesterday. Every once in a while, we're right about something. Yeah. My instincts are right about something. Yep. They weren't going outside the building. They were going with somebody who knows how they do things. He's been there 21 years. He knows how they do things. He knows how to operate. Zero ego. Zero ego. I mean, he was there for years before his name ever even began to percolate no doubt. Right. as a potential GM for anyone other than Bill Cower. Not a big self-promoter. Right. Doing his job. Happy with the job that he has, yep. not constantly looking for the next job and talking about how I deserve this and how I deserve that. And that's the kind of guy that's that they were Pittsburgh. looking for. That's, that's right. That's, that's who they hire. Yeah. That's what they do. That's how they've been. It is an ego-free zone. And that made Omar Khan the – to me, if I would have had to pick a candidate, it would have been him. Yeah. And he's the one who got the job. I, I'm, I'm, yes, 100%. You, you said it right. I mean, just everything you explained is, explains the Pittsburgh DNA and why they would want him. And I understand that as we discussed yesterday, you know, again, they, they have something good in place there. You don't just throw that overboard for, oh, wait, we like this GM and what they do. Pittsburgh is, you know, tried and true as far as their formula and what they do to evaluate players and build a team. So you don't let that formula out of the building. I mean, that, that to me is one where, yeah, you continue to ride it. It's still working. You're still relevant on a yearly basis. Man, you're in the Super Bowl conversation. It seems like every three or four years as well. So that's where I, I just – there's a handful of teams right now that I think have that, well, you know, for lack of a better way to say it, that front office magic where I just go, yeah, the, the, the people that are running it have the magic, but – the system they have in place as far as evaluating, evaluating the college, the free agent guys, knowing to, oh, wait, we got an injury. Here's a list of guys to work out and replace that injured guy and everything there. Uh, some teams have cracked the code as compared to others and how they work the front office and what's done there. And you, know, you can see that really in, in the results in the field right now. And Pittsburgh, to me, is, is one of those teams, along with New England and Baltimore and Kansas City, and, right, you know, those are the ones at least that jump off to me right off the bat to where Buffalo right now, certainly, where the team building and the process they have is top-notch, and it's what makes these organizations top-notch right now. Tampa Bay as well. And I, I think the reality here is that it makes it far more likely that there will be a continued role for Kevin Colbert. He's been very deferential. He doesn't want to get in the way. He doesn't want to be a problem. He doesn't want to not – you know, he doesn't want to be there if the new GM doesn't want him. It and makes Omar it Khan, easy if it's this guy. Worked yeah. side by side with him for 20 years right. and never left in a huff. I can't work with that jerk anymore. No, who would ever say that about Kevin Colbert? I mean, th this is the closest thing that they're going to have to continuity if Colbert is involved in some capacity. Yeah. He has stepped aside, stepped down, still there. Omar Khan, still there, been there, knows how to 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 make things happen and they they have expanded the you know it's not just going to be the same old same old andy weidel or weedle this is one of those guys where like when roger goodell became the commissioner got to be sure we know how to pronounce the last name andy weedle i'm going with weedle for now maybe weidel again to be determined he's the vp of player personnel in philly he's now the assistant gm to omar khan so that's a new hire that was made by the pittsburgh steelers to add to this this group that has been very steady at the wheel for Pittsburgh. I mean, years. yeah, and Philadelphia is another one of those places I should have named, right? I mean, they're another one, a team that seems like they've cracked the code a little bit with the front office. 
You know, it's just that, yeah, so I understand that hire as well. Well, let me bring this guy in. He's good. He came from another place that's very good. Let me see if he throws some ideas or some things there you know, into our already pretty damn good process and can make it better. Uh, so I don't know much about Weedle or Weidel. Excuse me for Weidel. Yes. Weidel. It, it is Weidel. Weidel. Confirmed. Weidel. Confirmed. Uh, Weidel. But, but it makes Sorry, sense. Andy. And Weidel. again, I think it's it's funny. I mean, you see a lot of the same teams always involved in these these GM searches right now. And then a lot of the teams are what we talk about because, yes, owners, people, they look at it and go, wait, there, there's something they're doing in these certain organizations where they got this process down. Uh, Pittsburgh got it down, and Philadelphia is another one that you look at it and go, wow, they're pretty damn good too. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.